Hello world and hello amazing Philippines. Good day. Today we're going to of course continue our lesson and this is module three, lesson number three and it talks about creating a portfolio as technology tool. Okay, this is again Sir A saying magandang buhay, magandang araw sa lahat. Okay, let's have our of course uh, definition of terms you can see no, in the screen. Okay, if we're going to ask about, of course, what is or what are portfolio or portfolios with this. Okay, uh, it is said that portfolios are one decent means of, of course, keeping stuffs in order. Okay, it's look like a folder or an album or a scrapbook or even a file where, where the official papers, of course, documents and evidences are kept. And presently, it is possible to have, of course, online portfolios by creating sites and pages that we have. No? This is uh, called as the digital portfolio or the e-portfolio. So e-portfolio can be, of course, private or published and shared publicly to students, okay, parents, and etc. That's, of course, uh, the portfolios that we can have is uh, would, uh, probably service to the students. Okay, other probably definition of terms, no? Uh, here can be seen what is an e-portfolio. It is a collection of digital files, the artifacts that are shared electronically, okay, for the purpose of reflection, comment, and evaluation. And it is a classroom uh, set up where, of course, um, it is a collection, take note, it is a collection of uh, learners' work that exhibits learners' effort, achievement, progress, and competencies during, of course, a semester or a course. And it's quite simply, of course, a website that enables users to collect digital evidence of their learning. And, of course, e-portfolios contain a wide range of digital files, including but not, of course, limited to text or the PDF documents, the videos, sound files, and of course images and links to other websites or online resources that we can have. Okay, we have also of course the functions of portfolio in teaching and learning process. So the first one is learners e-portfolio can evaluate his or her academic progress. The second one is monitoring of course uh, learners progress can be highlighted in a portfolio. And uh, the third is e-portfolios document learners learning growth and development. So of course, uh, through this, uh, we can see that e-portfolio is very nice, no? Okay, let's have the steps in constructing an e-portfolio using, of course, Google account. Because uh, many of or all of us, of course, all of you, my dear students, are having, of course, the e-portfolio. So. Uh, the first uh, thing that you need to do is enter your Gmail account no, and look for sites and uh, read the directions. Then you scroll down and read further until you see the icon no, for sites. And when you click it, it will bring, of course, you to another section. And um, these will let you create a site that you can, of course, use and, as an e-portfolio. And, of course, consider a good label no, or a title for your e-portfolio. Uh, it should be catchy also and prepare, of course, the contents like text, the links, the images, or JPEG uh, files that you want to include, of course, or upload okay, in the e-portfolio that you have. So you can see here, of course, no, uh, the picture in the screen on how you could have the sites. Okay. Let's uh, have, of course, the parts of an e-portfolio. So the first that we need to have is, of course, the home page. So this is known as the home or cover page, and it introduces, of course, the purpose of your page, okay, or yourself, and, of course, the objectives of your e-portfolio. For example, let's have in our class, okay? So I will be requiring you to have your e-portfolio. So the, the home page could uh, probably say e-portfolio in, Okay, education 1204, or 1304 rather. Okay, so that's it. And uh, you will have technology for teaching and learning one submitted by your name, okay, and then your section. And of course, submitted to your professor, Dr. Marie Deal, our um, boss, your teacher. So that's it, that's the homepage. The next, of course, are the pages. 
So you can have uh, their probably introduction. Na, okay. But of course, you need to have table of contents so that uh, your teacher or professor can see you know, how, of course, uh, your e portfolio are arranged. So when we say pages, okay, of course, these are the pages that you can add and depend on how you would, of course, like to organize your portfolio. Okay, uh, if that is, of course, a requirement in a subject, there is, of course, an instruction on what you're going to do from the instructor. And, uh, of course, lastly is the reflection. So this, this thinking aloud, a way of documenting what the students are thinking. And uh, probably many times now it is hard to write a reflection in a structure that can be helpful for all of us. Okay, let's discuss the... Jeeves, of course, reflective learning cycle in 1998. This is actually a very good okay, uh, learning uh, cycle. Okay, first, of course, we need to uh, start with description or what happened. So in the description, no, it's describing the activity or the experience of the reader by or okay, or by writing a short background of what you are reflecting about. Okay, the second is of course feeling. So the question is like this, what were you thinking and of course feeling? So you can write of course uh, about what you are thinking and how you feel at the time. Okay, you are working the activity or having of course the experience. We have also of course evaluation that is explain, explaining how well the activity went and it talks about what was good and bad about of course the experience by incorporating and reflecting with other principles and theories. Okay, the uh, uh, next is, of course, no analysis. Okay, so it talks about what sense can you make of the situation. So here it includes, of course, analysis of what worked well by considering what might have helped or hindered the event. And you, of course, may include related literature okay, that may have brought about, of course, the experience. After, of course, the analysis is conclusion. So you asked here, what else could you have done? So you can also, of course, talk about positive and negative experience and how can you use it to have, of course, a positive outcome. After, of course, the conclusion is the action plan. So question is, if it arose again, okay, or arose again, Okay, what would you do? So here in the action plan, you're writing what actions you need to take for improvement by consulting an expert for advice, no? or reading a book, a magazine, and online sources that will probably help answers to your queries. Again, the GIBS uh, reflective learning cycle consists of description, feelings, evaluation, okay, that talks about what was good and bad about the experience, analysis, Okay, what sense can you make okay, of the situation, the conclusion, what else, of course, could you have done, and the action plan okay, that answers if it arose again, what would you do? So that's it. No? Okay, what is good with, of course, reflective learning or the reflection that we can have is probably uh, we can improve better okay, for next time, particularly with, of course, performance no, in our subject or in the subject that you are taking. So that's it. So we have, of course, administering e-portfolio. So when displaying, of course, examples of your work, you can, of course, upload them as Word, no? even files in Excel, PowerPoint presentations, features, JPEG, or the PDF files, and a short, of course, description that explains the reason why the file is okay, and uplo uh, uploaded as to be written. But take note, before publishing your e-portfolio for the students to see your output, you can control of course, who can see your work. So the icon for sharing the site can be accomplished by entering, of course, the email address of the person with whom you want to share it. So that's it with, of course, administering ePortfolio. So for um, today, I hope that uh, you learned something. Okay. And this is, of course, our reference for you. Okay. Supposing you wanted to know more about, of course, the topic. Again, this is, of course, Sir A., wanted to say okay god bless and take good care again don't forget to subscribe like and share this of course lesson thank you so much bye-bye